Help at employmentlawyer.ca is a way to reach out through email. Want to get into our topic for the day as well. This is a good one. Everything you need to know about the old Ministry of Labor. So we'll get to these and, uh, and talk about them. Number one is the Ministry of Labor misleading people when it comes to their employment rights. I'm just going to lob that one over the plate for yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to lob it. And, and for a lot of people, this is going to sound silly or ridiculous. But when it comes to your termination entitlements, we're talking about the Ministry of Labor in the context of get, giving you advice when you lose your job. Yes. The Ministry of Labor misleads people every day, multiple times a day with respect to entitlements. And here's why. The Ministry of Labor can only tell you, no, not that they can only tell, they only, uh, they refuse to tell you anything but yeah. your minimum entitlements. So the Ministry of Labor will only tell you about your minimum termination entitlements. Now, the reason that's a problem is because that is only a small fraction of what you're actually owed. So if you call the Ministry of Labor, you'll find out about a portion of what you're owed, not your full entitlements. And if you don't know any better, you're going to walk away from significant amounts. So the Ministry of Labor, unfortunately, not on purpose, misleads people every single day. And every single day, John, I speak with people that have walked away from entitlements because they got the wrong advice from the Ministry of Labor. So bottom line, when it comes to losing your job, you cannot go to the Ministry of Labor. You can go to severancepaycalculator.com. You can call me. You can call another employment lawyer. If you don't like me, not a problem. You cannot go to the Ministry of Labor. What's another example of bad advice you could get from them? <laughs> well, let me give you a common situation, just something that I came across my desk uh, over the past week or so. I uh, spoke with a gentleman that had worked for a company for over 12 years, small company, and was let go because the company was not doing well. They were, they were uh, reducing their headcount. And he called the Ministry of Labor asking them, what am I owed? They, he was told eight weeks pay. Now, this company had offered him 12 weeks pay. So he thought, okay, I guess that's oh, fine. Nice. I, I, I mean, I, I thought it may be more, but if the Ministry of Labor is telling me eight weeks pay, they've offered me 12 weeks, I'm going to accept it. Well, the reason why he called me is because he heard our show, our, on our radio show. He heard the show, so he called me at the office. And I said, no, sir, you're actually owed a 12 months pay. You got the wrong advice from the Ministry of Labor. Now, his minimum entitlements were eight weeks pay. His full entitlements were 12 months pay. And those are his legal entitlements that he can enforce. So he got the wrong advice. Terrible situation. I had to break the bad news to him. Yeah. Again, this is your government. Again, this is not conservative versus liberal. This is not a political statement. It's just the way it works. It's been through that for many years, through many governments. Unfortunately, you get the wrong advice from the Ministry of Labor if you lose your job. Talking about all of the things that you need to know about the Ministry of Labor, number three point is, where do the people go instead? They think, Ministry of Labor, it's my job. The two connect. That's where I should go. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And they give you a 1-800 number to call. Right. Hey, it's free. So bottom line is, as I said, and you, by now hopefully you understand, you cannot go to the Ministry of Labor if you lost your job. You go to severancepaycalculator.com. You speak with an employment lawyer like myself or another employment lawyer. Like I said, you don't want to talk to me, not, not a problem. That is it. You don't speak with your Uncle Bob that was let go 20 years ago or your Aunt Mary that used to own a business. You, go, you don't go to the Ministry of Labor. Severancepaycalculator.com, probably the easiest place to go to, John. Someone does get bad advice from the Ministry of Labor, which in this case is pretty common when it comes to your severance. Uh, what do they do? What's the you know, it's, 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 if you can prove in a way that, that the Ministry of Labor gave you bad advice, you may be able to take legal action for negligence against the Ministry of Labor. I've done that before uh, and, and uh, resolved those matters. It's not ideal. If you did get bad advice from the Ministry of Labor, let's talk about it. Give me a call. But the bottom line is you don't want to be in that situation. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen to your friends. If they've been let go, tell them, put that phone down. down. Don't call the Ministry of Labor. Go to severancepaycalculator.com instead. Speak to me. Make sure you, you get a full picture of your full entitlements. If someone does go to the extent we're opening up a file with the Ministry of Labor, is there pitfalls to doing that? Is there going back? Is it... It gets worse. So not only do you get the wrong advice, if you actually file a claim with the Ministry of Labor for your termination entitlements, unless you withdraw that within two weeks, you're stuck. You've given up your rights. You can't take it back. And now you're limited to trying to enforce only your minimum entitlements. Oh. So, yes, believe it or not, it gets worse. Big time. We'll get to our last point here. Uh, in what cases should somebody call the Ministry of Labor? They're there for a reason, right? Absolutely. So we've established you cannot, under any circumstances, go to the Ministry of Labor if you lost your job. Where, when, uh, when can you go? If you have an overtime issue, a vacation pay issue, a minimum wage uh, issue, absolutely, a statutory holiday pay, not a problem. If you're owed wages, your company didn't pay you properly for last week's work, by all means, you can and you should go to the Ministry of Labor. I'll, I'll refer you there myself. Simply not when it comes to termination of employment. You also can't go there with constructive dismissal issues. 
You have to, for that, get proper legal advice.